Hello, in this video I'm going to briefly explain the port scanning techniques here on the right side. Before I start with the TCP stuff, let's briefly remember how the TCP connection establishment worked. If we want to connect to this machine, then we first send a syn package and then the machine will answer with a syn ack package. And then usually we answer that one with an ack package. The famous three-way handshake. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Okay, let's start with the TCP syn scan. These, this is us and this is our target. What we do is we send a syn package to the port we would like to scan. And maybe if the port is open, we will answer, the, the target will answer with, an, with a syn ack package. And then we know, well, okay, the port is open. And maybe we can or we cannot, but in the case of nmap, we send a reset package to tell the target, well, oh, sorry, uh, no, 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 we're not at, actually interested in that port, sorry. That's a TCP syn scan. Next one, the TCP connection scan is uh, even even simpler. This time we just create, establish a, just a usual TCP connection to our target. And after the connection is established, we just say, well, uh, no, we uh, actually, we don't want to have the connection anymore. And we close the connection. What's the difference between TCP syn scan and TCP connection scan? In the case of TCP syn scan, you actually use just the software that sends a package, a raw package over the wire, whereas, if you use the TCP connection scan, you use the TCP connection functionality provided by the operating system. So in case you don't have you don't have the privileges to send raw packages, then you could use the TCP connection scan because you're just working as a usual user in this case. Okay, UDP scan, basically the same. We just sent a UDP package, UDP packet to our target and we will interpret the result. That's important. Various interpretations are possible. These interpretations are the one that nmap does. This table is taken from nmap.org, listed in the sources that I showed in the beginning. Okay, what do we have? If, if we got any UDP response, then we will interpret the result as open. If we have no UDP response, even if we retransmit the package, then we will count it as open or filtered. If we get the ICMP port unreachable error, then we say, okay, that, that one's closed. And if there is any other uh, unreachable error, then we say it's filtered. Another side note, within this UDP package, you have a payload, of course. And for this scanning technique, this payload can be empty or can be not empty. You have the problem if it's not empty, then you might risk that you never get any answer because many, because much software apparently is implemented as if there's no payload, just don't answer to that one. Okay. Last one is the null scan, the fin scan, and the Christmas scan. Let's just take what I wrote here. You just, okay, so this is you, this is the target, and you send a TCP packet with the following flags set. Syn, reset, acknowledge are false. Fin, push, urgent are also false. Then you get a null scan, or then that's the definition of a null scan. If you want to make a fin scan, then everything is false except of the fin flag. And if you want to have a Christmas scan, then syn, Reset, acknowledge are all false and fin, push and urgent are all true. And for whatever reason, people say that because all these flags are true, it looks like a Christmas tree. For me, it doesn't. Nobody cares. Okay, that's basically it. That's the scan. Let's now talk about the background of these three scanning techniques because that's the more interesting part here. There is the, choose the pen. There is the RFC 793 and that states, if you got an incoming message, that has syn flag, acknowledge flag, and reset flag set to zero. Then you have two ways to reply. You reply with a reset message in case the port is closed. Or you don't reply at all if the port is open. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Maybe let's make this an X. It's exactly what we're doing here. That's the reason why all these flags are false because then we will get this behavior. Okay, but this doesn't work at all systems. That's also a side note to know in all systems. The problem is that not all systems implement the RFC 793 exactly as it's stated here. For example, apparently regarding, regarding to nmap.org, for example, Windows does not implement this behavior or several versions of Cisco do not implement this behavior that we can use here, but Unix-based systems might implement this kind of behavior. 
What you also get for free is if you have non-stateful inspections, for example, a non-stateful packet filtering router that will usually filter packages where the syn flag is set to one and the ACK flag is set to zero because that's the first message that you would send if you want to establish a connection. So these packages are actually thrown to the trash. So what you do here is you just make it a zero and then you work around this non-stateful inspection here on the router side. Okay, but all this just as a side note, that's it for the explanation in this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, maybe if you have any questions, probably it's a good idea to read nmap.org and it's probably a good idea to read the video description because I would put updates in the video description. Okay.